Hey, I appreciate you following my channel. I just wanted to invite you to a couple of things that I'm really excited about. Number one is my real estate sales business in Utah. If you are looking to buy or sell real estate across the Wasatch Front in Utah, give us a call at 801-675-8570 or you can check out www the-wgr.com. If you have referrals for me and my team here as well, we'd love to do some business with you. If you're a real estate agent and you want to increase your revenue, increase your skill set, and just improve your business all the way around, you've got to get a coach. I highly recommend that you go to www.fearlessagent.com. It's the most effective and affordable real estate sales coaching and training on the planet today and I've been part of that organization for over a decade now and it's the greatest thing I've ever done for my real estate business. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you soon. Hey guys, it's Colton Lindsay here with Winning the Inner Game. Today is Friday and it's a Financial Freedom Friday video. And the purpose of these videos is I wanted to give back to my community, my followers, exactly how it was that I built financial freedom so that you can start to apply it in your life as well. And if you're new to the term of financial freedom, that's where your passive and your residual income pay for your desired lifestyle. How cool is that? How would you like to wake up every single day and know that money is going into your bank account just for fogging the mirror or being alive? Well, here's how you can start by doing it. Number one is you've got to reprogram or retrain your mind to think how money can come to you. And I don't mean you need to think about what are some different strategies or programs or, or, or avenues you can do to detract money, but more you need to think about, hey, how do I think about money? One of the number one phrases that I learned that literally changed my life on how money comes to me on a high level is the phrase that money comes to me easily and frequently. And I actually learned that from an author named Marcy Scheimhoff. She wrote an amazing book called Happy for No Reason. I, I would recommend that you check that book out. It's called Happy for No Reason by Marcy Scheimhoff. But this one little phrase, I started saying it a lot, and it's called money comes to me easily and frequently. And in fact, if you have ever looked into the New Peaks organization, it's a training program that I personally went through. It's a two year course called Quantum Leap. They actually help you recondition your mind so that you think more along those lines of money coming to you easily and frequently. Some of those phrases that I I've, I've tend to say over and over again is that my money works hard for me. Or another thing that I say is I'm an excellent or I'm I'm a, and I'm I'm an excellent giver and an amazing receiver. Something along those lines that you're always talking about receiving money. A little tidbit. Every time you find a quarter, a nickel, a dime, find money on the road or on the floor in your office or wherever you're at, pick it up and say thank you for this money. Every time you receive a paycheck, say thank you for this money. So my point is Get focused on reconditioning your mind to believe that money can come to you easily and frequently. Think thoughts of abundance and recondition your mind constantly that you deserve money. Because the truth is, you do. And the more you can start believing that, the more that you'll just naturally have money show up into your bank account because you'll be prepared for that opportunity and you'll be able to take advantage of it. I kid you not, I've been doing this for almost five years now and it's amazing to me every single month the money that comes to my bank account that I wasn't even planning on I didn't even know it was gonna to come to me I've had it as little as five bucks and as much as ten thousand dollars in one month just unexpectedly show up and I know that sounds crazy but it's true thanks for watching my video today make sure to like comment and share below and if you haven't already subscribe and we'll see you soon it's a bad thing when it's the prospect or the person you're presenting to that takes you off the line and as a salesperson, you've got to be able to bring them back on the line, get them refocused, and take them to the direction that you're going for the sell. The sell is either to close for the appointment or, my favorite, close for the signature.